Hello everyone, this is Scott from TheElectrician.com. Today I will be covering um, Browser uh, browser Bay, which is owned by VisiBay, which allows you to create your own Chromium-based browser. It's very, it's a very useful tool. It can help establish your brand. It can help you, I guess, make your own browser from scratch. So let's test it. You're going to start off by naming your browser. Then you click continue. <sighs> then we should be able to continue. Let's reload it. Let's test that. Okay. Now that we've created our browser, we can customize it quite considerably. It's known as, say hello to your browser set of features. Logos. If you place a logo, we should be able to see things in real time. You can choose and you can select all kinds of details. Um, the daily exhibition, and then it's got the logo or right exit we can put a rocket ship facebook and twitter um there's a lot of apps which will considerably make it more of your browser you can do a feed rss um Then we add a feed, and what this will do is we'll add a feed RSS over here to the right hand side. Um, you can also add things like Secure Downloader, Yapsy, add your browser this app to play with all online games and enjoy your new games. You can add Facebook feeds, you can give them the latest weather, which is nice. I'd recommend you put that at the top. Suddenly, we've got a lot more features. I guess I can't reorganize it, can I? I had to switch the order of them manually, which kind of sucks considering this is a drag and drop. But, ton of features. Your website, make your website available straight on the sidebar of your community. Put out a rolling notification on your browser to keep your audience posted. And I guess that would put out a rolling ticker, but let's just leave that. Access your emails, you can add that, and you can add, of course, a new YouTube easily. Extensions, okay. Extensions are a little different. They allow you to add built-in extensions that are going to make things better for you. They're not quite like apps, which are going to be over there, but let's see if we can get a nice test one add block for YouTube Google Translate um, I can't find anything really considerable but we'll just do a League of Legends search now what this does is it adds the League of Legends search up here in your extensions bar and you can add as many as you really want I recommend avoiding things like imminent and things that are clearly going to be spammy um, Last pass, I wouldn't really recommend integrating this ad blog for YouTube. Maybe a weather app. So we can remove this one. Um, it's truly just a little drop and play, you just have fun. Shortcuts allow you to add shortcuts to the home page. Uh, let's just test that. We'll add delicious. Stumble upon. You can add a ton of shortcuts to your favorite sites. Nothing really unique. You can change the language of it, so in case you're targeting users in a different language, Spanish, French, that kind of deal. You can easily do it. If you click on it, you can change the actual theme items. If you're more into like shopping, do it to set it to a shop theme. 
artist, blogger, if you're a blogger who likes to use the actual the blogger platform, mode, uh, photography, restaurant, musician, you change to whatever your blog is suited towards. You can change the sidebar colors along with the text, the toolbars, the home page link would be your website. So now your home page will be set to that. The title. You can add a title. Um, little things here and there that I'm not really liking. I'm not liking the. It's well, it's customizable. I feel like this is a spammy company. I'm not quite sure on the reputation, but you do have a monetization tab, which I'm going to go into in a minute. So now we click continue. Do you want to monetize your browser with a search feed? Browser based search distribution. Generate revenues by using our search partners as a default search in your browser. You can make money from them. Um, I don't like them because they are malicious advertisements or malicious websites. They're typically not trustworthy and they get flagged as adware quite often. That being said, you could in fact make two different versions of the same browser one to make money, one to not, and see how they perform. It's truly up to you and how you want to do it, but you have to realize that either way you do it, they're going to have their own complications. So whichever you, if you choose to monetize your browser, it's definitely going to be very, it's going to probably get a lot of negative feedback by users because they're getting a poor search engine that's probably tempting them to install things. But if you really want to, you hit this and then you click save and continue and then you're done. It's a great tool because it allows you to create your own browser. You don't need to monetize it, therefore you don't need to worry about getting set to the browser pay search distribution. It allows you to gain a lot of return users and allows you to establish like a brand identity with browsers, which is wonderful. Um, it's a very interesting thing. I really recommend that you at least give it a shot if you have a website or you're looking to promote it or you just like to have browsers um, it's definitely an interesting feature, and I recommend that everyone who hasn't at least played around with it definitely should. It's a lot of fun when you're playing around with new tools like this, even if they're not necessarily for everybody's best intentions. So thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them below, and I'll make sure to answer them. Thank you very much for watching.